Hey guys. This is like such a random video. I just decided to go ahead and go live because I wanted to do my makeup, because I have to do some wig reviews. So um, I'm coming live. Hopefully you guys come in and join. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm really just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I got sent some new products from Morphe. Hey, Gloria. Thanks for tuning in, sweetie. Um, I got sent some new products from Morphe, which I'm so excited about. You guys know Morphe is thebomb.com. Um, but they sent me their eyeshadow brushes. It's a six-piece eye brush collection. And their packaging is so freaking pretty. Hey, Yolanda. How you doing, sweetheart? So I'm going to show you the products I'm going to be using, and then we're going to jump right on into getting this face beat because I'm so excited. I want to do like a, a purple smoky eye with glitter. So we're going to see how it looks. Hopefully it turns out how I want it to. Um, the brushes come in this cute little makeup bag. Oh, you guys are all coming in. Hey, Denise. Hey, Lisa. I think it says Cora. Coral? <laughs> hey, you guys. Happy New Year. So these are the brushes I'm going to be using today. They're from Morphe. I have never had Morphe brushes before, so I'm so excited. Oh, look at these brushes. They're so cute. So I have that one. I think I'm going to use this one for my concealer. Let me see if it says what the brushes are. Oh, it does. I love when companies do that. They put the information right there on the bag. So this one is, girl, hold a minute. So you get, hold a minute, you get a tapered crease brush, a line definer brush, a firm blender brush, a small chisel brush, a smudge brush, a double-sided angle brush with a spoolie on it, and then you get your bag. So this, this is from Morphe. So I have all these brushes I'm gonna be using for today's look. Let me get this stuff off of them. Like, God, as soon as I got this package, I opened it up. Like, I was like, I can't wait. I can't wait. But I had to repackage it so you guys can see what it looks like in case you want to order it. So they sent me these brushes. So cute. Oh, you guys are all up in here. Hey, you guys. From, are you from Atlanta? I want to go to Atlanta one day. I've been to Georgia before, but I went to... God, what was it called? It was a small town. Albany. I went to Albany. It was so hot down there. I don't say you guys are even living. Like, I went down there, and, like, the humidity was so freaking much. I felt like I was dying. I felt like my skin was just coming off. I had to keep taking showers. I just felt so gross. But I don't say you guys live in, in, in Georgia. I got much respect for you. Um, So this is from Morphe, too. This is the palette we're going to be using today. This is the Your True Selfie Artistry Palette, Um, and it's called 15T. This packaging is so sexy, you guys. Like, when you get cute packaging like this, you don't even want to throw it away. Happy New Year from Hillsboro, North Carolina. North Carolina. I have a friend that lives there. I heard it's really beautiful in North Carolina. I want to go there, too. I love Morphe brushes. I, I, I'm so excited to try mine. I've heard nothing but great things about Morphe brushes, so I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So this is what the palette looks like. It's very sleek. This thing is heavy, you guys. Like, there is some weight on this palette. Okay, so it has a, a huge glass mirror on there. I said glass mirror. It has a, it has a huge mirror on there. And then, oh, this one does not have purple in it. Well, it has a, a sort of a purpley shade. I was going to do a purple smoky eye, but I might not be able to. But we're going to see what we're going we're gonna to do, you guys. But this is what the palette looks like. It's really, really pretty. And the colors will look a little bit washed out because, you know, we're on a... Um, a web camera, but the colors are so pretty. Girl, I'm sitting here thinking because I have another Morphe palette and I'm, I got it mixed up. I'm thinking this one had the purple in it, so I might not even use this one. I do want to show you guys what it looks like. I think I'm going to use the other one because I really want to do a smoky eye, but look at these colors, you guys. And look at the names. The names are so freaking cute. Do you guys see these colors? Oh. It's so pretty. So I was going to use this one today, but I'm not because I really want to do a purple smoky eye. But this one is called the Artistry Palette. I'm sorry. It's called the Your True Selfie Artistry Palette. Really, really cute. Um, very good quality. It has a big, giant mirror on there. This thing is really, really nice. Um, but instead of using that one, I'm going to use my other Morphe palette. I got them mixed up, you guys. This one is the Boss Babe Palette. Oh, this one does not have a mirror in there. 
I, the, the difference between these two, there's no mirror in this one. Of course, there's a whole lot more colors in this one. Um, and the names aren't written on there. So I keep this little sheet because it has the names of the colors on there. But I don't know. I might end up throwing that away because I don't really. But this one is called the, um, the Boss Babe palette. So I'm going to be using this one today. Hopefully the colors are showing really good for you guys. Do y'all see that? Oh, a purple smoky eye is in my future. Yes, look, we're going to try. I'm going to make sure I'm going to see you guys' comments. Hey, I love your wig reviews. Thank you. That's why I'm getting ready right now. I have two more wigs that I have to review, um, and then I'm done for this week. Well, maybe. I think I have some more coming. We'll see. I don't know. Um, But thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hey, from Lauderdale, Florida. I've never been to Florida before. Hey, hon, hope you're having a good evening right now. Huh? Oh, that's Nykeria. Hey, Nykeria. How you doing, sweet boo-boo? Um, da -da 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 -da. I did purple and gold halo eye with the Morphe palette. It was bomb. That sounds really gorgeous. Hey, Mama Bear. Hey, Katie. How you doing, sweetheart? Tape sheet. Tie the top. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm watching from Texas. Never been to Texas before. I've never really been anywhere. I've been to California and New York. OMG, nice. That freaking is pretty. I know the colors are freaking gorgeous. So let's jump right into it. Let me get all this wrapping out of my way. So guys, I will, um, because I didn't link the Boss Babe palette down below. But like I said, if you go to the website, it's called Boss Babe. They did send me all this stuff, you guys. This is so that you know they gifted it to me. Um, but of course, you know, I always keep it 100 with you guys. So, and I know a lot of you have already tried Morphe out, and y'all know how great these things are. Did I just put all the brushes away? Girl, I'm moving too fast. But I know you guys know how awesome their products are. I sure did put all the brushes away. But um, after I get done doing the video, because I'll, I'll link the first palette. I didn't link the second palette. I will link the second palette for you guys. And I just dropped one of the brushes on the floor. I need to get it before Manny starts chewing on it. Come here, baby. Okay. All these brushes are so cute. Okay, let's start priming. Let's get ready. Let's get into this, y'all. Let's get into this. I don't want to keep y'all here all day. I still got to do two wig reviews, and I still got to go to the store. So I need to get my life together. I woke up procrastinating, laying in the bed, watching Law & Order. Law & Order is my jam. Oh, and it's always on. Um, I was watching SVU. Where is my primer at? Lord Jesus. Here we go. Okay. Love your video. Take the sheets with the names. I'll tape it to the top of the palette. That's a good idea. Thank you, Pooh um, Poo Baby 44. How was your Christmas in New Year? Pooh Baby, homie, Pooh Baby. I believe you're one of the girls that won my giveaway, and I haven't heard from you. Like, I posted a video. I posted, I think it was my last vlog. I posted and I announced the winners of a giveaway. It was two of you guys that won. I haven't heard from either one of you guys. And this stuff is just sitting here. So you guys need to go back to that video and confirm. I, I believe you were one of the winners. Like everything is in the description bar of that video. Um, oh, I can't think of what the name of that video was. It was one, it was one, one of my last vlogs. But I announced the winners of my giveaway in that, in that video. And I haven't heard from either one of you guys. And I was about to start picking another, another winner because... This stuff is just sitting here. So double check on that last vlog and see if that was you. So you can get your stuff, y'all. Get your stuff. Okay, so I'm using the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer in the color Nude. You guys know I use this all the time, and I love it. Make sure I'm not missing you guys' comments. How was your Christmas and New Year? Oh, my God. Hey, sis, is your Jamaican subby here? Hey, Tia Mac, how you doing, sweetheart? Love, Law & Order. I see you. That stuff is Law and Order is addictive, you guys. I had to like, and I, one was on that I've never seen before, and I had to fight with myself to turn off the dang on TV so I can come on here and do this live. But um, my Christmas, oh, you guys, I was praying to God. Like Christmas is very important to me, very very important. I'm using the um, LA Pro Concealer in the color. I think it's called Natural. Yeah, it's called Natural. Um, but Christmas is very very very. Actually, hold on, don't want to pick this one yet. I put a little bit on. Um, but Christmas is super duper important to me. It's like one of my favorite, favorite holidays. What's probably the favorite holiday? Um, I'm such a contradiction. Like, I'm a Christian and I love Halloween. And I know I shouldn't. Because everybody's like, oh, they shouldn't like Halloween. But I love Halloween. I just, I just love scary things. I love scary movies and all that good stuff. But yeah. Anyways, but I was praying to God. I'm like, Lord, please let Christmas be beautiful and wonderful. Like, you know, I've already been through so much this year. 
I'm, I'm just using a, a beauty blender to blend this out. Um, I really wanted Christmas to go well and just be nice and have time with the family watching, you know, every year we watch Christmas vacation. That's like our little tradition. But I wanted it to be a great day. And I really, really, really was hoping that my family loved the gifts that I got them because I was really trying to get gifts from the heart. And it was such an amazing, amazing day. Like the whole day was just beautiful, wonderful, perfect. I did film a little bit that day, but I was like, no, I don't know if I want to pick that up because some people... Um, don't have family on Christmas. And I know it's extremely difficult for them. So I was like, I'm not going to pick that footage up. I just put up footage of um, Manny opening up his Christmas gift. But it was such a beautiful day. And then New Year's. Oh, oh man, let me start this eyeshadow real quick, you guys. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Actually, I need to do under my eyebrow first. I'm going to use this color right here. Girl, I don't know if you guys want the names or not, but... Girl, it is light of the party. And this is a good idea to actually take this up here. I'm going to do that when I get done with this video. So this one is called light of the party. I'm going to use that one under my eyebrow first. And I'm going to use actually one of these little small brushes. I'm going to use this little one right here. But New Year's, oh my gosh. So like normally for me, if I don't go to church, I stay home. Like I don't really go out and party. You guys know I've been dealing with anxiety lately. In the last few years, I've been staying home. Um, last year, me, my brother, and sister, we celebrated in the house. Like we had a little decorations and everything, we, and we celebrated in the house. Um, but this year, um, this church I've been visiting had a an, an event, and they had um, what's her name, Miranda Curtis. My mom recently um, introduced me to her her music, and so they had her come out and perform. And so I went to that event. Like, oh, oh my God. Like with this anxiety, I struggle so much with going and committing to things. Like I'll commit and then back out, you know, like it's one of those kind of situations. But I was like, no, I'm going to go. I want to go. I want to start off this new year, you know, and on the right foot. I'm going to make sure I mention you guys' comments. I'm sorry. I love the Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's a real deal classic. We watch it every year. And like this year, it was it was almost like it was new. I don't know why, but I was just cracking up throughout the whole movie. It's such an amazing, amazing movie. I'm glad you had a good Christmas. I thank you so much. What kind of primer you are, any type? The primer for my eyelids, I use the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's a, uh, the name on here? It was on there. It's not on there anymore. But it looks like this is from the brand e.l.f. Um, da, 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 da. I love that movie. I missed it. I was going to go. Oh my God, you should have came. It's so amazing. That movie is a must in my house around Christmas time. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing, amazing time. As soon as we got there, you could feel the anointing. Um, this woman, her name is Pastor Krishana, and she's a powerhouse. Like when she prays, I don't you, you can't walk away the same. Like when she prays, it's like the room and the atmosphere and everything just just, I don't know, just bows down before God. It's amazing. And so as soon as we got there, she was already in there praying and the musicians were playing behind her. And it was so beautiful. Like immediately all the anxiety I felt just dropped away. And I was just so happy to be there. And then the praise team came out and they sang and they were singing the house down. And we was all in there just jamming and dancing. And oh, I miss dancing. I miss dancing. And they had their dancers there. I'm trying to figure out which brush do I want to use. I think this one's more fluffy. I'm going to use this fluffier blending brush. Uh, I'm going to start with this white color right here. It's called Peachy Keen. And we're, we're going to build up the crease first. This is going to be a transition color. Oh, and it is dark. Do y'all see that? Oh, wee. I like that. I'm really going to pile these colors on. I really want them to show on camera. But um, I don't know. When people are in their position, like when it dances and, and the minstrels and the, the psalmist, when everybody's in position, like church is amazing. Like church just flows and you can feel the anointing of God and his presence just drops in there. And that's how it was. Um, and then they had Miranda Curtis come out. Oh my God. Oh God, her voice. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but her voice. Oh my God. This girl was singing live and she sounded just the same way she does on her album. And I'm just sitting there like blown away. And like I was in the second row, which was so, so amazing because the, the anointing is just washing over you. But, oh, God, I had such an incredible, incredible time. The The word was on time. It was something that I really needed to hear. 
It helped me get my mindset right to come into the new year. I really want to go into this year with my mind right. Like not worrying about what's happened in my past, not worrying about what's happened, um, what I've been going through last year. I don't want to think about any of that. I want to think about where I am now, where I'm trying to go, what I'm allowing God to do for me. Um, while I was there on New Year's, I kept telling God, because I feel like he's been trying to get me to a place. I'm sorry, I'm just talking to you guys. I hope, I hope I'm not missing you guys' comments. But um, I feel like he's been trying to get me to a place where I am reliant on him and him alone. I've been such an independent person all my life. And I've been so motivated about what I can do and how I can change my circumstances and all this other stuff. And I feel like God has been getting me to a place where I have to rely solely on him. And that is such a difficult place for me to be in because I'm not like that at all. I want to be able to handle things on my own and get them accomplished. So I feel like while I was there on New Year's, I kept saying, talking to God, praying. And I'm like, Lord, my mantra for this year is I trust you. Not I will trust you. Not I'm working on trusting you. It's I trust you. So I'm like, I'm letting go of everything that was holding me back, all the sadness. I'm going to grab this color right here, you guys. Um, It's called Sparks Fly. It's like a darker brown. I'm going to go a little bit lower and blend this out. But my mantra has been, Lord, I trust you. I'm trusting you. I'm going to trust you. And I know the devil is going to come. I know he is. Like Whenever you decide to trust God or you tell God something, those tests are going to come. And he's not happy. The devil is never happy when you decide to rely on God. So I know that the tests are going to come. And I'm already like praying, just praying, praying, praying. Like, I don't need anything else to happen. I've been through enough these last couple of years, but I'm like, I'm just going to keep praying. And make sure I'm not missing the comments. I'm sorry. I'm just chatting and chatting and chatting. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hey, BCB, I'm dark skinned and I can't find a contour product that shows up. Any idea? Um, ooh. Let me think. I don't know. Have you tried getting a darker a shade of foundation that's darker than you? Because sometimes I use a foundation that's darker than me and put that on first and blend it out. Um, also, like I used to back in the day, I used to use eyeshadows, like seriously, like eyeshadows that um blend, blend it better with my skin tone. Because back then when I first started out, I didn't see products that match my skin tone. Because think about it, like your contour powders, like this is a powder kit. This is powder, just like eyeshadows are powder. So like you can always use an eyeshadow too if you can't find something that matches you. Of course, it also depends on if you like um, liquid or powder. Um, opening his gift was so cute. Oh, that's my baby. He was so excited about his Christmas toys, you guys. Oh my gosh. He wore himself out. Manny wore himself out opening up those presents. It was just ridiculous. And he was sitting there trying to eat every toy that was in the package. I had to put some of them away because he was just destroying them, just running around going crazy. But it was a great way to distract him so that way we could open up our presents without him trying to tear those toys up too. Because <laughs> many things, anything that we bring in this house is his. I'm just putting this brown in here. These colors are blending out really nicely. I'm not doing like a cut crease, you guys. I'm just doing like a regular smoky eye. Like I'm so, I don't, I don't want to say I'm over the cut crease because I'm not. I think cut creases are beautiful. But it's just like sometimes you don't want to have to do all that. Like, you know, sometimes it's just a lot of work doing a cut crease. Okay, I think that's smoky enough. Make sure I drag it forward here. Okay, make sure I don't miss you guys' comments. Never the same. Amen. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Oh, it just jumped. Oh, I hate when it does that. I don't know where I was at. Here we go. I love Miranda Curtis. I'm new to her, and I'm so excited about her music. I can't wait to go um, watch. I said watch. Can't wait to go listen to some of her music. I watch your video when you open up about yourself. I am praying for you. We all need prayer. I know I do. Thank you so much, sweetheart, because that is definitely something that I need, and I'm so grateful for you for doing that. Praise Jesus. You better speak. Yeah, it's very good. Um, You have to let God lead you, and it can be hard to let God do the work. You better say that. I always want to be in control. I struggle with that. And I have got to let go. I always say every year, oh, God, I'm going to trust you. And then this day I know I'm working in my own way and relying on my own self. And I hate that. He said, cast your cares on me and I'll take care of you. He sure did. And I need to put that on my wall. Let thy will be done, Father. Happy New Year. Keep the faith in the Lord. Stand firm and God will handle the rest. Amen. I love your message. I need to hear that from you. 
I'm thinking about just starting to do like, I, cause I used to do that. I used to do videos, um, like motivational videos and stuff like that. And like when I did that, it was so cathartic just for me and for other people. So I might go ahead and start doing that again. But like, I really am expecting greatness this year. I'm really in, and not the whole new year, new me or new year, things are going to change, but I just really am working on my mindset and changing the way I think and view things. And I know God's going to work with that. Um, let me see. I'm going to start with this purple shade. Actually, let me go back to this dense. I'm going to use this dense blending brush. I'm going to grab some of this purple right here. And it's called Power Slayer. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. I'm just going to keep building up this crease. Because I want this purple to be like, bang, in your eye. These brushes and this eyeshadow palette are stank nasty, you guys. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like, just amazing. I'm going to put this all the way down my lid. So we're going to keep building up the purple on the lower half here. So I want to have as many shades of purple down here as I can because I really want that purple to pop. I'm just tapping it in. Oh, it's so pretty. But I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know exactly what God's going to do this year, but I'm just expecting amazing things, like the kind of blessings where people are like, no one else could have done that but God. And I want to keep my mind that positive. Like, I want to be like that person. Like, because like all this stuff has been trying to weigh me down, weigh me down, weigh me down. I'm so over it. I'm so completely over it. I'm going to go back to that blending brush and put out this line here. Okay, so back to that dense brush. I'm going to grab this shade right here. It's called Transformer. Robots in disguise. I've seen all the Transformer movies, but I didn't see the Bumblebee one. I have no desire to see that one. and I don't know why. I just don't. I think because all of them are, aren't in there. And it was sort of dropped out of nowhere. I don't really want to see that movie. Oh, this is so pretty. I have to do two different wig reviews when I get done with this video. I'm, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do them live. That way they're done and out there because I have to leave when I get done. And I don't want you guys waiting for the video to come. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and film those reviews live. And that way I don't have to come back and edit them later on. This purple is like a blue purple or like a black purple. I don't know how to describe it. It's gonna look so pretty when we get done, you guys. I'm gonna put glitter all over this sucker. Do y'all see how dark that color is though? Like, wow. Hopefully, hopefully my camera's picking it up. Um, let me see you guys' comments. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Manny is funny. <laughs> I DM'd you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Pooh Baby. You have a true, you are, no, you have been a true blessing. Oh, thank you so much. It's okay. Man, he, he's actually right here on the floor beside me. I think he's afraid that I'm leaving. Like, whenever he thinks I'm leaving, he, like, comes in. He will not leave me alone. And I hate that because it just makes me so sad. It makes it hard, so hard to leave him. I'm going to be back in a couple of hours. Just don't freak out. And then while I'm out, I can't, like, really enjoy myself because I know he's at home sulking because I'm not there. I'm like, Lord, I need to start, like, tying him to my hip when I leave the house. Make sure they're even. I'm trying to figure out if I should do like glitter all over the eye, like purple glitter all over the eye, or if I should do a, a glitter wing. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go back to that blending brush again and just blend out this line. It's better to do this with a clean blending brush, but I don't want to use any other brushes because I want to stay true to just using the Morphe products in this video. But if you want to keep your colors um, separated, I guess you want to say, you can always use a clean blending brush. Uh, where did it go? Right here. 
I think I'm going to do purple all over. I think it's going to be really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use the same one I use on my eyebrows. Let me wipe it off in this paper towel. I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to pick this color right here. It's called Indie Glow Queen. The way they write it is so funny. I'm going to use this color right here. I think I'm going to put this on the inner tear duct. Let's see how glittery it is. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. I might just put this all over the lid. Hold a minute. No, I'm going to do glitter, though. No, I'm going to put it on my inner tear duct. I wish I had you guys closer. I don't know how to bring you guys closer about my computer falling over. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. Like, oh my freaking stars and stripes. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. The color is so intense and so gorgeous. I'm gonna I'm gonna do pictures and all that good jazz for you, loves, like I always do, but oh that is sexy. Let me make sure I can blend it out. Mm, mm, mm. Murphy be showing out. Oh, I'm so happy to have this palette in my collection. Um, let me see. Happy New Year's. Thank you, sweet. Happy New Year to you too. Um, what kind of what kind contacts do you have in? These are I just got these from Pinky Paradise. I got two different colors. They are the Eurasia series. It looks like that. And then the color I have is called khaki. I don't have the little things anymore, but um, it's called khaki, the color I have in right now. So it's like this green shade. When I first put them in, I was like, ooh, do I like these ones or not? Because they're like really like, Phew. but like my, my makeup and stuff is so freaking pretty. Like, oh my gosh. I love like, every time you see me with contacts in, it's normally Pinky Paradise. Like, that's where I get all my contacts from. Um, their contacts are freaking bomb. Bomb, you guys. Okay, let me get my glitter out. Actually, should I do my bottom? No, I'll do my glitter first. But Pinky Paradise, they have such a wide selection of contact lenses. It's crazy. Um, da, 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 da. Glitter all over the eye. I think I'm gonna do that's all that's what I'm gonna do. Um, my dog tried to stop me from putting my shoes on. <laughs> Like, May just gets in front of the door. Like, he'll try to block me from leaving the house. That purple is beautiful. Hey, friend, I pray for God to move in your life like never before. Ooh, thank you, God. Um, I pray for God's anointing in his favor. I see great things for you in 2019. Stay beautiful and allow God to use you. Love you. Oh, thank you so much, Noretta. That's so beautiful. You guys make me cry. And I don't want to cry. I'm doing a makeup tutorial. You guys are such a blessing in my life. I thank you so much. And guys, thank you so much for the love and support on that video I did about my depression and everything. Like, I was so afraid to put that video up. Like, Lord, I was fighting. I'm fine trying to find my purple glitter. It has so many different colors. It's ridiculous. Um, but I was fighting on putting that video. Here we go. I was fighting on putting that video up. I was definitely afraid of putting that video up. I didn't know how people were going to react. I know everybody had their opinion about things. and But you guys were so supportive. I mean, like, I was in tears. Like, I did not expect that kind of reaction. And I am forever grateful for the love. Like, it's it's unreal. It is unreal. And I was so afraid. My mom's like, just go ahead and do it. You can do it. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I don't think so, mom. So, um, but I'm grateful for you guys for all the love that you put on that video. I want to use some, this is my e.l.f. glitter primer. I'm gonna actually hold on, let me open my glitter because you gotta move fast with this stuff because it will dry. Um, I have this glitter. I bought this in the 12 pack. It had all kinds of different colors. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's their sugar coating glitter. Um, it's non-toxic. I've been using this one, I've been using it for a while. And I've never had any problems with it. But it's from Hobby Lobby and it, it's their sugar coating glitter. Um, but it comes in a 12 pack, like you get 12 different colors. Oh, and they're so beautiful. Let me get some more of this glue. Like you gotta move fast. Like, hold on, let me get my other brush and stuff ready. Normally, I pour some in this little thing right here. Oh, I poured too much in there. And then let me get my other brush ready. I think this one might be too big. 
Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna tap, tap, tap this glitter. I mean, this glitter glue. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap that in. And then we're gonna move over to the glitter and start tapping that in. Mm, mm. Girl, you better stop playing with my emotions. I'm not here for this today. It's so beautiful. I'm hoping my camera is picking this up for you guys because it's gorgeous. It's it's gorgeous. It's like life in abundance. Uh. <laughs> I'm here for it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And the smoke. Oh. Woo! Okay, I'm going to grab that brush I was using to put this Power Ranger Transformer, the color Transformer on. I'm just going to blend out a little bit around this. Oh, so beautiful. Yes. Got to go old school. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, I'm too, I'm too close to the light. Mmm, you guys, oh, wait till y'all see my pictures. I'm gonna slay. I'm about to slay on my pictures for y'all. Okay, let me do this other eye. Wait a minute, I might got too much stuff going on. Put that down. Hello, 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 Caroline. So pretty, thank you, Tulip. My prayers are with you. Thank you, Coretta. Do you have all the, per do you have, tell me, do the have all prescription? Um, they have a wire ranger. I have a really bad prescription, you guys. Like, I'm blind. What is my prescription? I don't know if it's even in here anymore. Um, I am like blind, and I have astigmatism. I have a lot of issues going on. But they have they have lenses for astigmatism. They have lens, um, lenses for prescription. Um, mine doesn't say. It just says mine is negative four point five zero. So hopefully that helps you out. But they have a range that you just click on it. It'll show you the range of prescriptions that you can click on um, per each eye. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm glad you did it, though, honey. Wow. Yeah. Okay, purple. Back to the purple. Okay, where is it? Let's do this I see my ringy dink set up for my uh my mirror. I just reached out to the company that ordered it from my new mirror and they said it's on its way. I'm like, it's been on its way forever, ever, haven't it? Like, where is it at? Hopefully it's the right size. Like I pray it's the right size. Okay. Da -da -da. And I just jacked my mirror up. And guys, while you're putting this glitter on, try not to tap over the same spot too much because sometimes that'll dull the shine on the glitter because you'll get glue on top of it. And of course, keep that eye closed until you are done because you will have glitter in your eye and you don't want that. I try to make sure it's pressed in really good too so it's sticking to that glue so that way I don't have to worry about it blinking it into my eye later on. Sometimes that does happen, unfortunately. Mm, that is so pretty. Okay, and then <laughs> just to make sure I get the excess off. Okay, let me close this back up. Actually, let me blend this out first, and then I close it. Okay, put this back in here. And this stuff lasts forever and ever and ever. I can't remember what I paid for. I think it was like $10. Maybe not even $10. Okay. So I'm going to deepen the crease on this side so that it looks a little bit darker. I may have to use a different brush because all my brushes is dirty now. Let me try using this fluffy brush. I'm going to go back into that transformer color and just tap it on the outside here. I want this to be darker over here. I might have to go into a smaller brush though. Oh, 
Are you giving me what I want? I think you are. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a lot darker. Okay. I'm just focusing on the outer V. I might have to put a little black on there. We'll see. Oh, somebody just messaged me. Who was that? Oh, thank God. I was gonna do a liner, but it's so hard to do liners when you have glitter on your eyes. So I'm not even gonna worry about a liner. Um, I do want to focus on getting my lower lash line done. I just learned to do things while you are afraid. I know that's right. I just recently opened myself to some of the women at my church about having to wear a breast prosthetic due to breast cancer. Oh, Stephanie. My grandmother, she had um, breast cancer. And she had um, a mastectomy done on one side, and then it came back. And then she got another mastectomy on the other side. Um, she never really talked to us about it, but I know it, it took a lot out of her. I, I know it has to be hard to go through that. I, I know some women, they get the reconstructive surgery, and then they get, like, the, the tattooed nipples. Like, I don't know how that, all, how that all works, but I can only imagine. And I'm, I'm glad you opened up about it, because I know it has to be straining on you. Um, happy New Year's, everyone. That's so sweet. Thank you, Vivian. Um, I love purple. It's my favorite color. <laughs> Look at all the purple hearts. This is so cute. Thanks, Vivian. And same to you. Welcome to the New Year, Miss China Bear. Thank you. You are slaying it. I want to come to you guys elevated this year. I want to bring you guys new and improved Black China Bear. Okay, so we need to focus on the lower lash line. Of course, we're going to do black because we want to smoke this out. Like We want our eyes to be popping. Um, make make sure it's the black one. Yeah, it is. So I'm using um, the Sistar Cosmetics um, Ultimate Define Gel Eyeliner. And this is, of course, the black one. And it's, this stuff is so smooth. I had to bring it all the way in. And I am doing this with the fan on. God forbid. Hold my eyes start watering. Okay, so then on the other side of this is like a little smudger. I'm just gonna smudge this out. And what color of lipstick do you think I should wear? I don't wanna do purple and purple. I think I'm about doing like a maroon shade. Or should I do brown? Like what should I do? I'm, a lot of you kept asking me what was I wearing in my last video. Um, I don't think this brand is around anymore, but it's called My Cute Obsession. And the color was um, My Little Walnut. It's like this brown lipstick I was wearing. A lot of you kept asking me about that. I couldn't remember what it was called because I never had it with me at the time. But hopefully some of you guys are watching this video that were asking about it last time. So it's, I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> let's smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to, I need to get a little brush. I'm going to go in with Transformer, this dark purple shade, and get tight to the line and just start putting that on, dragging it out to the outside. I'm sorry, guys, my nose is running. Lord Jesus, you gotta just love allergies. Okay, and I'm going to pick a lighter shade. I'm just going to use this. This is actually for eyebrows, but <laughs> we're not going to go there. I'm going to go back in that shade we put in the inner tear duct here and just put it on the bottom here. It might be visible. It might not, but I definitely want to try. But it's so pretty. Yeah, it's showing up. It's showing up. Okay, you're showing up and showing out. I appreciate you.
So, what's this card called again? It's called Indie Glow Queen. I wonder who makes these names up. It has to be a lot of work and a lot of stress. Especially if you want to be, like, super unique with the names. Because for me, I'm like, it's purple. It's dark purple. It's a little bit lighter. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter. Okay. So, let me put some lashes on. I'm just going to pick up some random ones here on my thing. I don't know what they're called. You guys, you got to forgive me. I got to pull this glue off of here. I wore these yesterday. I can't think of what they're called. Um, I'm actually using glue, you guys, like eyelash glue. I'm trying to stop using hair glue on my lashes. I'm really I'm trying to make an effort to stop using hair glue. It's so hard because hair glue just, it dries so quickly. And it's not so watery. Like, these things be so watery. It drives me crazy. Um, I've been using this one the last couple of days. It sticks pretty good. It's just about waiting for it to dry enough to put it on. Um, this is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with aloe. Why is there aloe in your glue? Like, we were doing too much. But it looks like that. I mean, we're doing too much when we got to put aloe in the glue. Like, why is there aloe in the glue? Everything got to be healthy, you know? Like, come on. Okay. So, let me let this dry a little bit. Happy New Year, lady. Oh, this, oh I know who you are. I know 2019 is going to be an awesome year for you, woman. Thank you so much. I know what you mean about allergies. Hey, Black China. Come in, come in. Hey, Black Chain is live and looking good. <laughs> hair glue is the truth. I feel so bad about using hair glue, but I feel like it's looked down upon and I probably shouldn't do it. Probably not good for my skin or my eyes, but it is the stuff. Where I need to put some mascara on just a little bit. But this eyelash glue, it takes forever to get tacky. I put a little bit of mascara on. You can use whatever brand you want. Okay, it should be dry enough now. Let's see. Oh, Lord, don't this thing give me no trouble. Jesus, please, let it stick. I hold it there for a second. Please stay. Please don't come off. Please just make my day great. I'm, I'm just pushing it into my skin to make sure the glue is grabbing hold. I don't want no troubles. I don't want no problems. Um, where is the other lash at? Oh, I'm just still on my brushes. Okay. Can my lash? I'm like the worst with my lashes. I just take them off and, and throw them on my vanity. And I always get them all mixed up together. So I used to keep them in a little container. I stopped doing that. So don't judge me, y'all. I gotta pull this glue off of here from yesterday. Cause that's cute. I see a little piece right there. Okay. Okay, put some lash glue on. I said lash glue, put some mascara on. And once this is done, we're gonna move on to the skin and we're gonna fly through that because that's quick and easy. This is what takes the longest. I have got to fix this. It looks like the purple grabbed hold to my glitter glue. Ugh. Come on, baby. Let me see what foundation I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to use my Better Skin foundation. And I've already put primer on. I put on my Laura Mercier powder, powder primer. I put my Laura Mercier face primer on. Our foundation primer, I'm sorry. Come on, baby. Grab a hold of that glue. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is why I hate lash glue. If this was hair glue, it'd be stuck and done. 
but this piece in the front does not want to lay down. Please stay there. Let's be friends. Let's be best friends. Be good to me. Please be good to me. Oh, God. This is the struggle. Like, this is like lash glue. I can't believe it hasn't evolved better than this. It's 2019, boo boo. Okay. Everybody's saying hair glue is better. <laughs> it works, though. Have you ever taken the free makeup classes at Sephora? No, I have not. I didn't know. I didn't even know they offered that. Hi, I am a esthetician, and there is a medical grade glue called Lash Tight. They sell it at the beauty supply stores, but it's behind the counter. You have to ask for it. I've never heard of that. Does it work fast too? I love when it's just immediate. Just we're we're good to go. Let me get this off my face. Oh, I had to blow my nose out. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, yes. I'm here for this. Okay. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to scare you, baby. Oh, he's sleep. He good. Okay. So let's move on to the face. What I want to do, I'm going to try something different today. Like I have these Cover FX drops. I never, ever use them. So I want to use them today under my foundation and see how it's going to look. Um, these are the da, 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 Shake Well Before Use. Where is the name? I think they're called Nova. So these are by Cover FX. They are the glitter drops, and they look like this. They're really sparkly, so beautiful. And of course, my camera is not showing you. It's like a thousand pieces of glitter in each droplet. It's amazing. I'm, I'll be so glad when I am able to slay the eyelash technique. Tired of gluing my eyes shut. I still do that sometimes. Like sometimes I get glue and it comes down here. Might be somewhere in there right now. Um, I know the right are getting glue all over the eyelids. Don't feel bad, Stephanie. I still do that sometimes. <laughs> she said I gave up on using gla on lashes. Oh my gosh, you guys. No, don't give up. You just got to keep practicing. If you give up, you're not going to learn how to do it. Um, what, How do I put this on? I'm use my fingers. We're going to see. And this droplet never works. Like, this little dispenser thing. Oh, my God. It's so irritating. I think it's just too much glitter in there or something. I'm just going to wipe it on my face. I just want to see if it's going to give me, like, a nice little highlighted glow from within underneath my foundation. Or if my foundation will just cover it up. Because it says that you can mix this with your foundation or put it on before your foundation. But we're going to see. Hopefully, I'm not pinning on too much. Hold on. Let me, let me <laughs> blend this out first, and we're going to see. But it's really glittery. I don't know if you guys can see all the glitter. You probably can't see it. Oh, that's so irritating. But it's like a million pieces of glitter in here. Girl, if I left the house like this, with this glitter on, people probably think I was crazy. But you guys see it in person, you guys. Like, my face is literally covered in glitter. But it's so magical. Like, if, it, if this was Halloween, I probably would just wear this by itself. Because you look like a fairy. You guys can't see it? I just, I just look shiny. Let me see if my hand would show you. Can you see it? No, I just look shiny. She said, I almost got those drops, but I got the Huda Highlighter Palette. I haven't seen the Huda Highlighter Palette. I feel out of the loop now. I feel out of the loop. Like, these are so pretty, but like I thought you could use them as a highlighter, but it's just glitter. So I don't know. Let me put this on my chest. I don't know if you can do it like that because I tried it and I didn't care for it. Like, maybe over a highlighter. I don't know. So I'm going to use my Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, and I have the color, I believe, Maple. Yep, it's Maple. It looks like that. And this stuff is my new baby. Like, I love this stuff so much. I use it, like, almost every day. I try not to let myself use it every day. My lashes glued together right here. There we go. And, guys, I've been using brushes to do my foundation lately. I've been in love with brushes. 
I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to use my sponge so much. I feel like the sponge just absorbs so much product. So I've been using brushes. This is the um, Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I've been using this for like about a week now. And I love using a brush now. Like if you ever wash a beauty blender and you squeeze out all that product, you can see how much product it's absorbing. And it gives you like a nice finish, but oh my gosh. I want coverage. Be careful on my eye. Make sure I get my chin and my neck so that way it blends. Sometimes I drag it a little bit behind my ear. I do not know how I feel about this stuff being under my um, foundation yet. Uh, you can see it. You definitely see it. I think because it's just so much glitter, you can't help but see it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not. I'm sorry. I'll be with you in just a second. Make sure I don't mess up my eyebrows. I spent too much time on them things. And get my hairline. Like normally, if I was using a sponge, that would not be enough product to do my whole face. I would need to do another couple of pumps to get my face done. And that's what I don't like about the sponge. It's just sucking up all the product. I really think that was a, a scam set up by the beauty industry to get your coins. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Sephora offers different classes that help you learn different techniques. You don't need it, but they are 45-minute sessions. That's good to know, though. What do you use to clean your brushes? She uses mane and tail. Uh, you know, girl, I sure do. I use the mane and tail shampoo. It's actually over there. I can't get it right now, but I use the mane and tail shampoo. And this stuff cleans my brushes like nobody's business. Like, oh, my gosh. Sometimes if I don't have that, I'll use Dawn. Or you can mix them together. It's all, it's all up to you. But that main and tail shampoo, oh, my God, it just takes everything out your brush. Because it's, it's made for horse. It's made for horses, like for washing horses. So, like, it just takes everything out. That glitter is coming through so pretty. Oh, I want you guys to be able to see this, but you can't. Mm, that's such a sad shame. Okay, I'm putting put some concealer on. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, color 4N. It's waterproof. I love this thing so much. It makes my under eyes look amazing. Amazing. Where is my concealer brush? Didn't I just use it? I just used it on my eyebrows, so where is it at? It's probably right in my face, and I don't see it. Uh, it sure is. This is the hard part, because I don't want to get it on my under eye area. Let me see. I think I took too much out. I could let it sit just for a little bit so that my skin absorbs it. Not absorbs it, that sounds horrible, but so that it sets on my skin so that way I can get the coverage that I want. I'll put it all on my nose. Every time I look down, I'm getting it under my eye. Oh my God, it is so irritating. I'm about to fix that. I gotta look up. How is that possible? I don't know. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go back to my foundation brush and we're gonna put this out. I just jacked up my whole under eye, like under my lash line here. I'm gonna have to go back and fix it. Oh, I'm so irritated. It's okay, it's all good. It's just a small, small thing. I don't know if you guys watch um what's her name? Uh Sandra Deluxe. Well she like she does all her makeup almost with her fingers. That's what I've been trying to do like around my eye right here. I'll try to blend it out with my finger. This brush, oh my gosh, we are like best friends. I love you so much. Let me count the ways. Okay. I'm gonna have to fix all of this, like, oh my gosh. So guys, I immediately said that. So I'm using my Sis Star Cosmetics It's You Skin Perfecting Finishing Powder. And guys, this brand is available at your local drugstore. I said drugstore, at your local beauty supply store. Um, but they have some bomb products. I am so in love with Sis Star. So I'm taking that powder. I use this stuff like every day. I stopped using my Laura Mercier powder, you guys. Laura Mercier. And I have the Sasha Buttercup powder. I just use this one every day now. It just blends in so nice. And I haven't experienced flashback on this either. And this is like a beauty supply store brand. Like you can go there and get this. And I know it's cheap. Now, if you don't want to use setting powder, like if you put on all these drops and stuff, you don't want to use powder, you can always use um, a setting spray. But I have oily areas and I just cannot. Rely on the setting spray only. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love your nails. Oh, thank you. That was yeah, Estee Lauder. Uh, where did it go? I put it back. It's Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof. Concealer. Probably you can hardly even see that. And I have a color 4N, like Nancy. So for my powder, I'm using um, my Laura Marcier powder. You guys, you can't believe I still have not bought my soft focus powder. Like, I have it sitting here. It's empty. I have it sitting here as a reminder to pick up another one. I've been to Walmart I don't know how many times, you guys. I don't know how many times. And I cannot remember to pick it up. It's like every time I come in here, I had to tell you guys the same thing. And I'm so sad because if I had that today, I would be using it. Because it's so amazing. Like, it makes your skin look so perfect. Um, but I don't have that. So I'm using this one. This is the Laura Marcia Baked Radiance. No, Matte Radiance. Bake powder in the color bronze 04. It looks like that. So everywhere where I didn't put the powder, the translucent powder, I'm gonna put this. I'm just using um, a powder brush. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna go ahead and move on to um, contouring and getting this face snatched. Well, I might end up using this today, so that's pretty. So uh, I typically bronze and contour. Are you guys know I use the Guys Face FX palette because this is my baby, and then we're gonna. Go into the um, the bronzing shade first, and this is the Real Techniques buffing brush. I have enough of that. So I took follow 
don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I have to follow my ear. Like when my ear pretty much starts to pan out, I just follow that. And I just tap this into it first and figure out where I want to place it at. And I follow it down. So it's like, I, I used to just do this and that was it. But now I follow it down. It just gives your face like a really nice contoured look. So I'm just going like this. Pick up a little bit more. So pretty. And it's going to bring all that warmth back in your face, all the definition back in your face. When you put that foundation and concealer on, your face will just go flat. Like all your features will be hidden. So you want to bring all that back into your face. So I'm just putting this along my hairline. Buffing it into my hairline because you don't want to have that line of demarcation here where it's one color and then it's another color, it's another color, it doesn't look right. So I'm dragging that back into my hairline. I love this because it's like a reddish color. So like I think it looks better with my skin tone. Um, this is the Twilight palette, I believe. They have different palettes like they have moonlight i believe and twilight they have different it's three different palettes for different skin tones so it all depends on like if you're uh, white um, asian like whatever your ethnicity is you will get a palette based off of that and then we're gonna do under the chin because the lord knows we need to hide that <laughs> Oh, speaking of that, I just got off my fast, finally. Oh, my gosh. You know, that sugar fast was so ridiculously hard. Like, oh, my God. Oh my God. It was so hard, like, especially during the holidays. And it's all kind of sweets everywhere and all kind of chocolate and candy. Oh, God. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thankfully, my mom did it with me. I didn't think I was going to make it. I was like, what the world? And then the church that we've been visiting, they're just starting this new fast where it's you can't have bread, you can't have dairy, and you can't have meat. And I'm like, do I want to do this fast with them or no? Because I don't know, like, not being able to have any bread or or dairy or meat, that sounds so scary. I'm using my, my buffing brush to blend this out somewhere. But I'm like, that's really restrictive, especially just coming off that sugar fast. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I had the strength to do that. That's a really dedicated fast. Like, oh my God. Okay. Hey, Jason, how you doing, sweetheart? So I'm, I'm going to use my Sonia Klishak, uh contour brush. I'm grabbing the contour shade, which is this one, which is like pretty much almost out. And I'm just going to go right here and just deepen it. So I like to tap into there. And then follow my jawline. You see how it darkened this area right here? So it looks like your cheek is sucked in naturally. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to keep around the hairline. Just pressing into there. I'm not going all the way down with the contour. I'm just going to stop right here. And then take the side of that buffing brush and just blend everything together. Mm, this is so pretty. She said, you can do it, girl. If I believe that, I would try. <laughs> Doing good. Um, girl, I'm glad you pronounced the name because I was lost. Um, for which product, Kenya? Is it Kenya? Yeah, I think it's Kenya. Okay, so but I, I need to do my nose. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm going to use this small Sonia Kushak blending brush and go in with that contour shade and just slenderize my nose. And I drag it all the way up into my brow.
Oh, that's Sonya brush. Girl, I, I, I don't know if I be saying it right. I don't know if it's Sonya Kasha, Kushak, Kasha. I don't know who she is. But that Sonya lady that, that sells her brushes at Target. Her brushes are really nice. Like, I'm a big fan. So, we're dragging it up into our eyebrows. So, that way, it looks like our nose, like, literally is, you know, all one bridge. It looks more natural that way. I'm just going to blend this out. Okay. I don't know what highlighter I want to wear today. Um, let me see. Lord knows I have so many of them. Actually, I'll use the one from the Sistar palette. We'll use one of these. Oh, they're so pretty. So I'm using the Sistar Cosmetics Lit and Glow Luminizer palette. Looks like that. I think I'm going to use this one in the middle. Where's my highlighting brush? So I have the Sonia Kashuk highlighter brush. Our Kushak, that Sonia lady. We're gonna tap this in. Hopefully, you guys are seeing it on camera. It's really soft. It gives you like almost a natural highlight, but turned up. I don't know if I'm describing it right. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's really, really pretty. And it just blends into your skin. It's not like that chunky, glittery kind, it's just like a sheen. It's really, really pretty. Let me put some of my temples on the side here. Because I'm thinking about, where did I put it at? I'm thinking about doing this for my lips. Is that a no or a yes? And maybe with a dark purple liner. It's like a deep burgundy color. Let me know if I should do this one for my lips or not. Or what kind of color should I do? Should I do a nude? And I need my nose brush. Mm, there we go. This is also Sonia Kushak. It's a um, Accentuate brush. I use this one for my nose. I drag it up into the highlighter up here. I don't drag it all the way down my nose. I just drag it. I just put it pretty much right here. Let's see, my under eyes look actually look good here. I want to put a little bit of um, mascara on there. I'm using um, Kevin Aquan the Expert mascara. I just touched my dang on eye area right here. <laughs> He's so cute, stinky booty. So everybody's saying yes. Your face is always gorgeous, but dang, that's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done for you, girl. I have so much stuff at home and don't have a clue what goes where and why. I'm sorry, honey. New with a little ombre. Like, to me, it's not work. I'm just so used to doing it. And it's so relaxing and comfortable. I just, I love getting on makeup. I know, I know some people can't do it. And then, of course, I don't do all this every day. Like, this is, no, I can't. There's no way in the world I could do this every day. But. Today, because I'm doing a video and I want to look fetch for you guys. 
I'm, I'm doing the slayage today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do, because most of you guys are saying go ahead and do the, the burgundy. I'm going to put on a purple liner first. So let me sharpen this one. So beautiful. Thank you, Sharita. Happy New Year, ladies. Oh, that's so sweet. Happy New Year, Bo. So this is dark plum, I believe. Dark purple, the liner. And guys, if you don't have dark purple, you can use black too. I forgot I got chapstick on, so it's like sort of hard to get this on. Oh, it just came out my lip line. Oh, God. I have to overdraw just a little bit. Happy New Year, beautiful. Thank you, Penny. Happy New Year to you, sweetheart. So I'm going to use this lipstick, you guys. This is the Lorac Pro uh, Liquid Lipstick in the color Deep Burgundy. God, I would do purple, like purple lips, purple eyes. But sometimes it's so mitch, like matchy, matchy. Like, I don't know. There's too much. Y'all see that whole big old bottom lip, just one dip. I love that. Okay, I let this dry. Oh, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna put this on. Okay, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on. This is um some blush. This is the Half Moon Blush Duo from Sistar Cosmetics. It's called Deeply Flushed. When I first got this, I thought it was a blush and a contour, but this is actually not brown. It looks brown, but it's like a soft. It's like a reddish color. I don't know how to describe it. So I'm going to put this one on. It looks like it's pink on camera, but it's like brown in person. I want to put this side on for my blush. Just put a little bit on to add some connection to everything. Um, let me see. Gotta be careful. I don't know how much I grabbed. You guys, putting that, I just spit everywhere, <laughs> but putting that glitter underneath is so gorgeous. I wish you guys could see this in person. Like, it's so pretty. Well, that blush is pretty, too. Put a little bit of my nose. I don't know if you guys can see the blush or not. Oh, it's so pretty! Okay, I'm just going to set this is the Sistar Cosmetics It's You Setting Spray. It does smell so bomb, you guys. I'm going to pull back because I don't want to mess my makeup up. It smells so good. Like, oh, my gosh. Let me see if I can show you guys a better view of my makeup. I had to unhook the charger. Let's see. I look so bright. You can't even see it, but this is the makeup. It 
So now I've got to go get ready so that I can film the two wig reviews. So I'm, let me come in right back. I just got to put all this stuff back and out the way so that way I can film the wig review. So actually, no, I need to keep this here. But anyways, I'm going to be back so that we can get started with these wig reviews. So guys, thanks for tuning in for the makeup. I hope that you loved it. It's so pretty. I'm going to put pictures up because like everything is looking really washed out when it's not washed out in person. But I want to put pictures up for you guys. And um, I'll be back in like maybe five minutes to do the wig review. So if you're tuned in, stay tuned in. I'll be right back. I love you guys. And I will put the link for this Boss Babe palette down below too. I'll get that first and then we'll come back for the wig reviews. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>